Hi, I'm Chris Sangster, and welcome to my studio. I'm a music producer and mix engineer based out of this home studio in Los Angeles, California. I've been working in the music business for about 10 years, and five of those have been spent right here in this room. So everything you see around me is very dialed in to my specific workflows and the way I like to do things. I mainly produce and mix pop and rock based music, but I also write music for sync, write music for enjoyment, and also mix some independent film scores. So my workflows are very dialed in to those specific tasks. I work mainly in Logic Pro and occasionally in Pro Tools, and both of them run on my old faithful 2010 Mac Pro. Still going strong. The Neumann KH120s with a Neumann KH750 subwoofer are my main monitors, but I also have the Aventone MixCube and several different brands of headphones for referencing my mixes on different playback systems. All of the acoustic treatment in the room is from ATS Acoustics. I have wall panels all around the corner bass traps as well as the clouds on the ceiling. I have three layers of carpet on the floor, which helps cut down on the floor to ceiling reflections. And overall, it's a pretty dead and pretty true sound in this room. My main interface is the UAD Apollo Quad. Also in the rack is the Dangerous Monitor ST, which is my monitor control solution. I also have a Focusrite Liquid Sapphire 56, which I use for extra preamps. Still love those Focusrite pre's. I have my guitar amp modeler of choice, the Avid 11 rack. And down at the bottom, a cheap but very cool compressor, the DBX-163X. Other bits of kit in my studio are my console, which is a Studio Master 16 into 4. I don't use it on everything, but on the right project, it sounds great. I have the classic Tascam Porta Studio, a 424 Mark III, which is great for getting that cassette sound or just putting down ideas without having to use the computer. Another classic is the Casio SK-5 sampling keyboard. Back behind me, I also have a small collection of guitar pedals, as well as a radial DI and a cloud lifter for boosting the signal of dynamic microphones. I have a PreSonus headphone splitter. And then on the desk behind me, I have my trusty MIDI controller, the Akai MPK-49. That thing has been with me for a long time. Next to it, I have the PreSonus fader port, which I love to use to write automation. Moving on to instruments, I have my lovely Gibson J200 acoustic guitar. I have my practice slash travel, but still very useful for recording guitar, the Taylor GS Mini. I have a Fender Telecaster 72 Thinline that's been modded with Curtis Novak pickups. And I have the best value in all of basses, in my opinion, the Rondo Music SX. I also have a Zildjian New Beat hi-hat that I love to use to add life to program drums. And rounding things out, we have the Korg SV1 keyboard. All right, opening up the mic locker, we have my main vocal mic, the Slate Virtual Microphone System. A real game changer in my opinion, as it can model a lot of different very expensive microphones and is really versatile and sounds fantastic on a lot of different sources. We have my personal favorite mic, the Shure SM7B. I love it so much, I got two of them. We have a Studio Projects C1 large diaphragm condenser, a pair of Earthworks SR30 small diaphragm condensers, great for acoustic guitar, a Shure SM57, gotta have one of those, an SE X1R ribbon mic, which I love to use on percussion, and a Sony ECM77B lavalier microphone. Thanks so much for checking out my studio. My passion is helping you make your music the best it can be. So if you need help taking your music to the next level, please reach out to me. You can find me on social media at Sangster Sounds, email sangstersounds at gmail.com, or leave a comment below this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the studio next time. Thanks.